if I had to choose a flashlight, and I did, I have flashlights. I've got hunting flashlights. I've got regular flashlights. I've got, you know, flashlights out the, out the wazoo. I love flashlights. But the one thing about this flashlight is it's got features that I would have to have two or three different devices just to have the same thing. Hey everyone, welcome to Joko Outdoors. My name's Ken. I'm Brian. And today we're going to be doing a review on this cool flashlight that we got from a subscriber. So, let's roll. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago I got an email and the guy said, will you do a review on a flashlight? I said, well, sure, I'll do one. And I gave him the address and when it arrived, it had a flashlight and a headlamp in it and I'm like sweet so I'm gonna do a review on the headlamp on, the, on, another, on another video because I want to focus on this one all right so this is the the Nova P50 it is made by Lone Survivalist and it's kind of cool on the back of the box it says designed in America made in China so <laughs> he at least made the disclaimer that it's made in China so but I'm gonna tell you what, I've, I've become a little bit desensitized for where their things are made because I'm finding that things in the United States don't work too good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I bought some stuff that was made in the United States and not to knock on our country, but you know, if you got somebody, you know, and this is the cornerstone of capitalism. Mm -hmm. If somebody can make a better mousetrap are you going to continue to buy the mousetrap from your buddy? No. You're going to buy the better mousetrap. And right. I'm going to tell you right now, this is the P-King of flashlights. Oh, yeah. So on their website, um, bonesurvivalists.com, and we'll put a link down at the bottom, you can find this flashlight. It retails for $149. And I know what you're thinking, why would I spend $149 for it? Well, we're going to show you why. So let's go through a few things of this. Before we do that, if this is your first time oh, yes. tuning in, <laughs> forget. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there below, right down here in that bottom right corner. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time we put a video up. Uh, like. Oh yeah, and but before you do anything else, go right down there and hit that thumbs up button. Yeah, that's right. You know, we need all the likes we can get because yep. we like you. So like us, please. Share, share the video and then leave a comment below too. Uh, let us know what you think about the video and let us know what you think about this flashlight right here. Uh, and if we, there's anything else you know about right. that you want to do a review on, right. let us know. Um, we don't want to turn this into a review channel because it is an outdoor channel, but what more thing could you possibly need yeah. more than outdoors? Yeah, absolutely. Right? So I'm going to go through a couple of features and then I'm going to let Brian go through a couple of features. And then... We'll, uh, we're going to run it through some paces and show you what this thing can do. Because I am I was blown away. I was going to do an unboxing for it, but I was too excited to see what was inside. So, <laughs> you know. So, first off, one of the coolest things, and I don't know a single other flashlight on the entire market that has this. And that is a solar panel built into the handle here. Yeah. So, you can leave it out and recharge it. What better type of tool would that be awesome. so you don't have to ever worry about your battery running out because the sun as long as the sun's out and I tell my students at Wake Tech when the sun's out the gun's out yep all right so it's got a nice robust clip on here I mean it, it is it's stout I have a hard time putting it in my pocket it's so stout so that's a good that's good quality I, that's one thing and believe it or not I, I, I believe that this is a testament of a good flashlight because I've seen some flashlights that this thing would nearly snap off. Oh yeah. So, yeah. all right. So I'm gonna let Brian go through the features on the the light, it's the flashlight itself. So we have our power button right here, and we'll get to that in just a minute. We'll show you what this looks like in the dark. This thing is stupid bright. I mean, it's it's crazy how bright this thing is. But you have your adjustment right here. Um, we'll try to get a little bit closer. You got a few adjustments right here on this. Uh, let's see, right there. There we go. And uh, you just move it in and out to adjust. Uh, of course, the more you point it out like that, uh, the more narrow the light gets. And as you pull it in, it gets wider. So it's a wide angle at that point. 
Um, I also like this little lanyard right here. I mean, it's the the little button on this thing. It's awesome. It just you just push it in, real smooth, pulls in and out. You know, um, put it right on your wrist, just like that, so that you can't swing it off or anything. You know, right there, tighten it down, just like that. One little push. All right. So I like that. I do like that feature. And uh, I'm going to talk about one thing, and then I'm going to let Ken talk about the best thing, what yeah, I think surprise. is the best thing on, the on this flashlight right here. So you also have this, uh, what is it, a little glass buster? Yeah, glass buster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have a little glass buster right there at the tip, so that if you're inside a, a vehicle or something like that, you need to break the glass, just tap on it, you know. And, and uh, it cracks the glass, and, and you know, tap on it a few times, and it'll, it'll uh, break it open for you. Um, now, we're going to get to what we think is the coolest feature of this flashlight right here, and then we'll take you out there in the dark and show you how bright this thing is. All right, so, you thought the solar panel was cool? Well, this is the coolest thing of all. All right, so, how many of you guys have been out in the woods, camping, or just out in the woods, and you needed to light a fire? And, oh my goodness, I forgot the lighter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. you got any matches? No, I don't bring no matches. Or or okay. Or, so now we were now you're resulting to having to go try and find two sticks and rub them together. Well, I spent 13 years in the Marine Corps. I did mountain survival, and I did this for six weeks, and I still haven't perfected perfected the bow the bow and and uh, rod. I you know I can't do it. You know my arm would fall off if I tried to start a fire that way. So I have to resort on other things. So I usually carry a ferret, ferret rod with me to make some sparks. But even with that, if the ground, if the stuff is wet, it ain't light. But check this out. This is cool, 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 cool. So on the back of the cap here, unscrew this off, and it will reveal the most awesome thing. All right, so look at this right here. This is an arc. And when you hit the button, look at that, it makes an arc. And let me show you, let me grab a leaf right quick, I'll show you what this thing can do. And look, for you guys who are uh, camping fans, this flashlight right here is the ultimate camping flashlight because, I mean, think about how many times have you needed to start a grill and you're like, oh, I don't know where my lighter is, I don't know, how, I don't have any matches to start the grill. <laughs> you got this thing that can start right. the grill. All right, ready? Watch this. Boom. Just like Just that. like that. Just like that. And I was going to I was going to do I was going to do this this review a couple days ago when everything was still wet from all the monsooning we've had in North Carolina to show you that it will light wet as well. It's amazing. It's insane. It's the most robust thing I've ever seen and I've no other flashlight has it it is a this is a proprietary thing I think because nobody else has this so that is the coolest thing of all so if you're looking for a flashlight that is a all-around top-notch flashlight now one thing that it doesn't have and it's not supposed to have but it doesn't have the colors where you can do like red and green and blue and See blood? It's not that. You need to now. If you're gonna go do blood tracking, get you a flashlight that does blood tracking. If, if you want to know what kind of flashlight does blood tracking, check out our link right up here. Yeah. Let me get there. Right here. Check out that link up there. Uh, look at our Vast Fire flashlight review. That's uh, what we think is a really good uh, price point hunting flashlight. But this thing outweighs it ten to one. All right. Um, do check out that video though. Yeah. All right. So, without further ado. Let's go see this thing run. Okay, so we're gonna go down here into the uh, lower part of my property where it's dark. This is actually where I preach my messages when it's warm. This is why we call our, our uh, church Faith by the Pond because it's right by the pond. You can hear our frogs having a having a, a heyday. And we'll just wait till that light goes out. I've got little lights that can light up as we're walking down to the, to the dock here. We'll just be still for a minute. Let these uh, these lights, motion detecting lights, die out because it's uh, you know, it's dark out here. The moon is behind. It's, we've got a 
almost a full moon, but it's kind of behind a tree, so it's doing us a favor by not shining too bright. This has got a setting for a strobe effect. So this is, and I wish they had a where you could cycle, but you hit the button three times and you get a strobe effect. So there's my cat over there. You see him doing his thing. The strobe effect. Now I can tell you that this would blind any anybody that's trying to give you any trouble. You know, if you hit them with this, the strobe effect, you know, it it's gonna it's gonna stop people in their tracks when they're coming at you. You know, it's nothing really awesomely special. It's nothing that's outside of, you know, the craziness. But because of what it has, it is, I would say, by far the best flashlight you could have. Yeah. Well, it throws that beam out there good. Yeah. Shot up in the trees. You can see a coon. Nope, no coons out tonight. <laughs> Might get a squirrel throwing a nut at us or something for waking him up, but other than that. All right, so I'm gonna widen this out so you can see how much more the trees are gonna light up as it goes. That's a pretty wide range. I mean, yeah. if, you're, if you're searching for something, this has got a very wide berth on it to you know, see how far, I don't know if Brian can pick it up with the camera here, how far this thing stretches. But if I was looking for something, a deer in the woods or something like that, this has a wide expanse on it, so you got a lot of uh, field of view between the beams. I mean, that's a good, it's I mean, a, what, 25? 20, 20, 25, 30 yards. Yeah, expansion. It's, it's huge. That's yeah. how wide it is. All right, so I'm going to click this on the low setting now and see. All right, it gets kind of low, but this is a low setting. And why you would want to use the low setting, if you don't need this super <laughs> blasting flashlight, It'll save your battery. Yeah. Because the high setting is shooting out about a hundred, about a thousand lumens. This is only shooting about three hundred. Which, in reality, if you go look at the flashlights that you can buy at Walmart and even at Bass Pro Shop and Cabela's, sadly, they're only about three hundred lumens. So, I'm pretty stoked about this. Now let me hit the one more button in here and put that strobe on there. Oh yeah. You know, but like we're in a horror movie. And I don't want to shine it too much that way because my neighbor's going to get mad. But there we go. That is that is unreal. So if I had to choose a flashlight, and I did, I have flashlights. I've got hunting flashlights. I've got regular flashlights. I've got you know flashlights out the at the wazoo. I love flashlights. But the one thing about this flashlight is it's got features that I would have to have two or three different devices just to have the same thing. And I have never seen one that has a solar panel on it, which was which is pretty cool because I'm a tech guy, so I love technology. And I think that that is completely awesome that it has a solar panel built right into the frame. Now, the question is of the ruggedness. So if you are like me, you beat the flashlights up pretty good. and I'm just wondering about the survival of this flashlight, especially the solar panel, rattling around in my bag. So we're going to run this through a couple of months of trials. We've got turkey season coming up pretty soon, and we've got some camping trips that go on. And I've got an I've got a uh, EDC pack that I carry in my truck all the time, so I'm going to throw it in there. So it's always getting you know, moved around and bounced around. And we're gonna try this, we're gonna make sure this thing still runs. But for so far what I've seen, for the money, I don't think you could find a better flashlight with all the features. For the solar panel, for the uh, the fire starter piece on it, I don't know where you could find something even close to that. So that's the review on the Nova P50 flashlight. All right, one thing I forgot to mention, and I just happened to notice it, and I don't know why I didn't notice it. So in the event that you don't have time to charge it up through the sun, it also has a USB port on here, and it comes with a charger. And this will, this is kind of a neat USB port because it has a place where you can actually plug in something and use this as a battery source. No other flashlight has that. 
and it uses a standard USB-C port so you can use any kind of USB-C charging cable to charge up. It does come with a charging cable but it's only about not that long. You know, it's not very long. Mm. But the thing about it is, to be able to charge your phone up through this is in, it's insane. Insane. I really don't even... Matter of fact, I'm going to show you. Phone's off. See it? Oh, just turn back on. So Stupid motion. Plug this in into the light. Showing this lighting up green. Right. So this is lighting up green. Here's flashing green. Tell you that you are plugged into it. Here, hold this light, Brian, so I can hold my phone here so they can see when I plug it in. It actually starts charging. There it is. Now my phone's charging. Try it again. And you probably heard it when it did it. So we'll plug it back in. Amazing. That's awesome. So, Mike, once again, if I had, if there was, if as if I had to show you one more thing to convince you that this is the Peking flashlight of all time, <laughs> you know, that would that that had to have that had to be the one thing right there, the one thing that pushed you over the edge. Yeah, is that so? I want to thank you guys for joining us. You guys are are very special to us. That's right. And as I um, was saying the other day, I was telling Brian we need to do something to uh, help us uh, help you guys. So just to let you know, and that's why we want you to subscribe because when we hit our hundred subscriber, we're going to have a giveaway. That's right. And I might have something really cool. I might yeah. have several things that are very cool because. You know, we have have a lot of contacts, have a lot of connections. You know, Phillips Outdoors is yep. one of our, our most favorite people we use. He's not sponsoring us. So th these guys aren't even sponsors. I don't even count this as yeah. a sponsor just because they sent us a flashlight. Because he hadn't told me I could keep it. He didn't say I might have to send it back. But any at any rate, we uh we we don't we don't have just just to make it clear, we have no sponsors. But the reason we the reason we promote these guys is because uh, we believe in their product. You know, Phillips Outdoors. I've had I've had several uh, several good hunts with his stuff. I've got um, several good pictures and videos. We've showed you guys. You can go look at our channel and see some of the videos uh, of some of the video of deer that we have and pictures of deer that we have and everything. Um, fishing seasons. Well, I mean, you can fish 12 months out of the year, but everybody knows that. You know, fishing, more people are going to fish during the springtime and everything. And he's got scent for fishing. And we tried <laughs> it last year, and it, it actually worked really good. That's the dog over there. Um, so, so we were, you know, it worked really good. So I didn't kick the dog, by the way. That was the cat trying to get him out of there because that's why she's barking. So, so we'll, great Pyrenees. You know, we'll, we'll end up doing a, a, a video on, uh, you know, Phillips Outdoors uh, fishing lure. It's spray-on lure. Um but you know we, we support these guys because we believe in their stuff and you know we want you guys to go check them out just as much as we believe in them um, we do thank you guys for supporting us on it and you know we're gonna we're gonna try to figure out what kind of stuff we're gonna give away we want to try to make it more like a seasonal type thing uh, you know maybe some fishing stuff or some camping stuff or some turkey hunting it's gonna be a stuff surprise. Or whatever it will be a you surprise know, it, you you won't be disappointed, I right. tell you that. Right. And we won't be disappointed because we'll know that we are reaching people through this channel. So, so the way we, you can support us is share our videos, right. subscribe, give us that thumbs up because YouTube uses the the likes for videos to help promote channels. And that's all we want. I don't want anything else from anybody. God has provided everything that we need. Right. So we want to pay it forward. And you guys continue to watch our upcoming videos because we are going to reveal uh, sometime in the near future the product that we are going to give away. Yep. Um, and, and you know, once we hit that 100 subscriber mark, we'll, we'll ship it out and everything. And we'll tell you the rules 
on what you have to do uh, to be entered into that drawing. So you guys continue to watch. Um, continue to, to, to watch our videos. Share them, like them, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, give us that thumbs up. Tell everybody about us. We hope you guys enjoy our videos. And if there's anything that you want to see from us, let us know. If there's content that you want to see us produce, let us know, and we'll give it our we'll, we'll give it everything we got to produce the content that you guys want. As God is our witness, God is on our side. The Bible says, "If God is for me, who can be against Amen. me?" So, if That's God right. is on our side, He will provide a way for us to produce the content that you want. We love you guys. We thank you guys, and remember, this, this is, is God's, God's country. country. God bless y'all. Love you.